Hey guys, welcome back to episode 23 of Day in the Life of a Software Engineer. And yes, today we are writing some lines of code. As always, we don't rush, we take our time, find a seat in one of our favorite coffee shops, and we ease into the flow. We let the caffeine kick in, open the laptop, and tackle whatever the code throws at us today. And by the way, thank you so much for being with me so far. I truly appreciate your support. A huge thank you to KZ for sending me this great low-profile mechanical keyboard to test and share my honest opinion. It comes with white snow linear switches and honestly it sounds super quiet compared to a lot of other brands out there. Now white isn't usually my favorite color, I'd probably have gone with something else but between pink and black I figured it was finally time to switch things up and try the white one. The ANSI layout was a bit tricky to configure at first and definitely a challenge to get used to since I normally use DCHI's or Swiss French layout, but once I got going the transition was surprisingly smooth. Ok, let's go straight to the topic. I grabbed one of the projects I had sitting in my IntelliJ list, cause I once had this little idea to use passkeys, and I remembered I already had a very basic backend setup with Spring, just some simple CRUD REST APIs and a basic post list UI built with Angular. For this test, I actually wanted to use the Java Yubico auth and core dependency. The idea here is to get rid of those classic user password forms and switch to a passwordless method where the credentials are stored securely in a keychain, Bitwarden Vault on your phone or directly on a YubiKey. Ok, now as you probably noticed is not exactly UI friendly at this point. This is just a rough draft and mostly backend focused and really just an attempt to get something working. The goal here was to at least start recording users in the database. So after writing a couple of models, some interfaces or better known as DTOs to expose to the client, plus a few services and their implementations and of course a controller to handle the CRUD operations, I was finally ready to try initializing the passkey record into my connected remote Bitwarden vault. Never underestimate the importance of logging what you do, even if it's just a draft and you're working locally, seriously, it saves you later. Now, Bitwarden has a pretty handy password generator that you can customize based on length and complexity. Once we manage to save the password to the vault, the backend sends us a nice 200 OK and I realized this Yubico library actually works really well. Job done. Smooth. Next step, check if the user and hashed password were properly stored in the database. Then we try logging in with our freshly created user test. We grab the same key we saved in the vault, go through the auth flow and redirect to a super basic welcome page. Yeah, I know, very minimal UI, I should have at least shown the username. Hmm, didn't have time. 